All right. Well, I guess this is part two to that last video. Um, I wanted to make it a lot longer. Like several hours have passed since I made it. Obviously, it's fucking dark outside. I'm at a hotel in fucking Minneapolis right now. But uh, there's a lot more to talk about. So, in the last episode or last part, I was talking about Skylar making a video. That video is called, uh, that video was about, what was it about? I for, I kind of forgot, sorry about that. Um, it was about Skylar telling people, like, he, he's an indie developer, so he made a video about how professional developers need to fucking grow up and get over fucking criticism and other shit like this. But when you think about it, the same thing kind of does reverse on him. Not in a video game sense, but in a real life sense with drama. So, to say, what I'm trying to say is that he's telling people that he doesn't, he gets over criticism and stuff like that, but even then, whenever somebody says something, he goes and hops on the internet and makes fucking YouTube videos. Now, I'll be honest, I mean, it's not the, no, no, I'm not even going to try to pull that bullshit right now. To be, that's not the best situation to handle it. You can probably tell that I'm a lot more calm in this video than I was in my last ones, or my last one, I should say. I'm a lot more, I was a lot more angry with him, but I've calmed down and I've thought more about it, which I probably need to work on. Which I do need to work on, to be honest. But. I just don't understand. What was what else do I want to say? Besides from that. It's just, he. it seems like he can't take. That when he's being shat on. It's for a reason. And then he goes on and fucking rants. On the internet, which, like I said, is a pussy thing to do. So there's, I've watched more of the video since then. I've not, st I still don't think I finished it. Hold up. 